Angela and this is Devon Thread Tales. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to talk to you about the So Brum that I have been to over the weekend. Now So Brum is something that's held in Birmingham in the UK and it is um, organised by a lady on Instagram who calls herself English Girl at Home. Sorry, I'm referring to my notes because I've got a few names written down here. <laughs> um, it's something that I'd never considered really going to before. It was certainly the first time I'd really heard of it because it was quite a way away from where I live. But I just happened to be going very close to there anyway because I was going to a party in the evening with Adele from Button and Pip and um, she said, let's go there for the day. So that's what I did. And I bought some bits and pieces. So I thought I would do a quick fabric haul. So it shouldn't be as long a video as it normally is. But before I do, I just wanted to show you something that my daughter had made. So I know this isn't sewing, but I love this so much that I really wanted to share it with you. My youngest daughter is bonkers about Christmas. I mean, like, really bonkers about Christmas to the point of every so often during the year she'll have a little stint of listening to some Christmas music which she will probably kill me for having shared that with you but anyway she made this recently she's been making this over the last couple of weeks and she's made a pom-pom wreath how gorgeous is that she finished it over the weekend while I was away and she spent ages on it making all of these pom-poms aren't they fabulous Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. So onto the fabric that I got from So Brum. Now, the day was absolutely fantastic. I met so many people and I met some people that watch my videos, which I have to say it really tickled me that you came and said hello. I hadn't expected that. So it was so lovely. And if that was one of you, then I'm, I'm really, really grateful because you absolutely made my day. Um, and yeah, it was just really nice. And it, it's really lovely to hear the reasons why you've enjoyed my videos. So I, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> so on to some of the fabric that I bought while I was at So Brum. It was so great to be able to go to so many different fabric stalls so there were there were there was ones in markets there were some shops that we went to and it was just absolutely fantastic one of the things that i really would like to make at some point is a coat now when i got there adele uh, from button and pip and later on in the evening i saw laura from material girl laura they had both worn a sew over at lola coat and they looked completely different they were made in different fabrics um one was sort of black and white mottly and one was a very vivid orange and they were just absolutely fantastic and i love them and they are really big comfy coats you can wrap them around you they don't have a fastening so don't have to worry about that I've already got the pattern, so I thought, well, maybe I'll try and find something for that. However, there was another lady who is called Catherine, and her um, Instagram handle is Oso oh Caddis. I think that's how you pronounce it. If it's not, then I'm really sorry. But she was, oh, she was just looking absolutely gorgeous, and she had on a full-on um, me-made outfit, and she had on a sew over it Chloe coat. So now I'm sort of thinking, oh, do I make the cocoon or do I make the Chloe? I'm not quite sure what to do because I've got the sew over it cocoon coat pattern as well. So I'll show you the material that I've bought and um, you see what you think of it. I've got enough to be able to make either. So this was the first material I bought. It's, a, it's really heavy because I've got loads of it. I've got about four meters of it. But this is a really nice coating material. I'm guessing it's some sort of a wool blend. It's got this checkered design on the front and on the back it is really really soft. I think I will go with the Lola but I, I think this will look really smart and because of the size of the coat and it's really roomy you could wear it over quite a few layers as well as wearing it you know just to sling over and um, to keep yourself warm when you're popping out maybe in the autumn or the spring or something and these are my my colors and I think that with maybe a black scarf with it or even a really big bright punch of color under it would look really nice so that was my first purchase and I was so delighted because it was only five pound a meter which was an absolute bargain so that was my first one I also bought from the market this material and it's a shirting material if you can see that it's got quite a 
dark olivey green as the background and then these little flowers which have got some um, sage green and olive green in it as well. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to make with this. I might make a um, closet case Cali shirt because I quite like that and I've been uh, keeping my eye open for that. But at the same time, I think it could be quite a nice skirt as well. So I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do with that. But I've got enough to be able to do either. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm trying to think what the name of the the company is that, that makes this material. But the name has completely escaped me. If I remember, I'll pop it in. <laughs> so, sorry about that. But yes, yeah, so that was my second purchase. Again, really reasonably priced. After we'd been to the market, we walked over to Barry's, which is a great big... A fabric shop in Birmingham and I have to say this was a little bit overwhelming for me because it was just it was a really large um, industrial unit and it ha it just had material everywhere and it was brimming with people because obviously lots of people there for the so brum day it was so fabulous and lots and lots of different types of material from um, you know, netting to jersey to coating to viscose to all sorts of things. So my daughter, my youngest daughter, who's mad about Christmas, she really wants me to make her either a Christmas skirt or a Christmas dress. And she wanted to have some sort of a red plaid. So I, they had loads of plaid materials and I took lots of photos, sent them to her and she chose this one. So... I have this gorgeous plaid material and I have bought, no, I haven't bought, I actually got a pattern for free, which I think I'm going to use. So I'll just skip ahead to later on the day when I went to Guthrie Garney and they had a fabric and pattern swap table on the, in their upstairs room where you take fabric, take patterns that you no longer want but you can also take if you would like. And I picked up this pattern which is the Audrey dress and I, I love this. I think it's something that I'd quite like to make for myself but I in my mind I had that I would do the green section in the plaid and then I would do the bodice in a black and the bottom in a black. Now I've shown it to her and she loves this. She would really like it. But she would like all of that in the plaid material with the with a black top. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. And yes, another item that I got from the Sew Brum Day. Also from Barry's, they had some more coating. I was like, oh no, I've already bought some. <laughs> but I saw this and just fell in love with it. it I just love the colour it's a another wool blend I I really don't know what the content of it is so I'm ever so sorry that I can't tell you that but I don't know if the colour will come up nice and true on it oh I think it will these lovely jadey green colours with a mottle of white now I, I really I like the idea of doing a Lola coat again but maybe I'll do something different now this is thinner than the um, checkered material that I've showed you earlier. So it, it would be a lot more sort of fluid in its movement or if I wanted to make a coat that was sort of quite structured, I'd probably have to line it or maybe put some kind of a coating interfacing on it or something like that. But I absolutely love this. I think it will make a lovely outer garment of some sort. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to, uh, to have a go at making something with this. And I don't know whether to make two Lola coats <laughs> because they would look so totally different from each other. One having such a pattern and one being just sort of a, a motley pattern and obviously no pattern matching with this. So it would be easier. So that was my other purchase. From the Guthrie Garney fabric and pattern swap, I also picked up some fabric. Again, not quite sure what it is. It definitely has some sort of jersey in it because it's got a bit of stretch and I just saw it and I knew it was the sort of thing I would wear. Not a clue what I'm gonna make with this, but there's quite a substantial amount there. So if you are at So Brum and you're at Guthrie Garney and you donated this and you're watching, thank you very much, because I'm quite excited about making something with this. Maybe a skirt, maybe a dress, don't know yet. So I'll have a little think. So that was the next thing. 
My only purchase that I got from Guthrie Garney, I got because I was inspired by a, a lady that came up and said hello to me during the day. Now her name was Naomi and her handle is Sakura Sews on Instagram and she had on a Cali shirt, a closet case Cali shirt in this gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. And I said, oh, I love your shirt. That's absolutely lovely. And when I went to Guthrie Garney, I saw it there. They had it in two different colorways, a blue and this one. And I thought, oh, I'd really, yeah, I really would like that. And then when the lady was cutting it out, Naomi came up and said hello. And I felt a bit embarrassed that I was buying the same material that she'd made her shout out of. But she inspired me. So that's what I'd like to make with that. And obviously, I've already got plans for October. So all of these things are things that I'm going to have to make a little bit further down the line. But yeah, that's that's my next one. So then on to the party in the evening. And I went to a fabric store who was organizing the party which is called sew your own wardrobe which is in ashby and this was the original reason why i was going there and it was a paris theme party it was so beautifully done the shop is absolutely gorgeous it's really lovely it's laid out really nicely i've never looked at their website or looked online and i believe they do have a website so i will definitely be having a look at their material and fabric um, in the future because actually it was really reasonably priced and the quality of the, the things that they had there was absolutely gorgeous and they put on canapes and wine and bits and pieces so it was just a lovely evening so the first thing that I picked up from there was a kit and I bought this so this is the pattern this is a like a little um, vesty crop top um, underwear crop top and matching pants and I just really liked it and they had a few samples of it there and you know when you're like oh I'm not sure but a couple of people said oh I've, I've had that and it's yeah it's really nice so I haven't opened this yet, but I also bought the kit and I bought it in this, I don't know if you can see that because it's shining, reflecting, but in this really nice vivid pink contrasting with the like a bright turquoise aqua blue. So I'm very excited about making that. Obviously, if I make it, I won't be modelling it in my video, but I will hold it up and show you. <laughs> so I'm quite excited about that. And then the last thing that I bought, I think is probably my most favourite thing that I bought from the whole day. Again, from the Sew My Own Wardrobe shop. And I've only bought a metre of this because because this actually was quite expensive. It's probably the most expensive material I've ever bought. But it's a very thick, um, heavyweight material. But I love rainbows. I absolutely love rainbows and anything that I see rainbows with I always think oh like that so this is a little bit out of my comfort zone because I normally go very black and white as you can probably tell very black and white very monochrome or if I'm not going black and white and monochrome I just play very safe and have very plain sort of things but I've bought this with the intention of making a skirt and I think think I'm going to make the nest skirt not that I've made it before so because this was quite pricey I will definitely be making it up as a mock first before I do this <gasps> but look at this material oh I absolutely love it it is oh it just embodies everything that I love <laughs> I really really like it and I've got a horrible feeling it's going to be one of those materials that I'm going to be too afraid to cut into but I just isn't it gorgeous? Just a really lovely skirt with maybe a roll neck jump and some thick tights, any of those colours, but I'm thinking maybe a dark purple or something like that. Oh my goodness, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I cannot wait to make something up with it or make this skirt up with it. So I can't wait to show you all of those things once I do start making them. Um, hopefully some of them will be in my plans for November and I'll share that with you. So if you've enjoyed this, then please give it a thumbs up. 
comment away maybe if you've got an opinion of what I should or shouldn't make with it that would be really great to share your ideas and if I saw you on the day and you're watching this then thank you so much for coming up and saying hello because I just love meeting every one of you it was really really fun so other than that I will be coming back at the end of October with things that I've made I'm well on the way to making quite a few of the things I had on my plan so hopefully fingers crossed I'll get it all done other than that, I hope everybody has a good week and I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye.